Okay, we have here today another interesting integral from the MIT Integration Read 2024, regular season 19. We have the integral from one to infinity of e to the x plus x e to the x over x squared e to the two x minus one dx. Okay, to get started with this, it's very suspicious looking having, we've got e to the x all over the place and we just, we know the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Now, what I can do actually with this numerator, let's just say I create a one here, just multiplying by one, it's not gonna change it. Well, this whole numerator, this whole thing here, this is actually gonna be just the product rule. So this is actually the derivative. If we just look at the derivative of x e to the x, well, that's exactly our numerator. So at first I was thinking maybe reverse product rule would work, but then it doesn't really work very well with this complicated denominator. But then the other thing I was noticing, just for this piece right here, I can actually rewrite this because e, I can rewrite this because e to the two x is the same thing as e to the x squared. So I can write this whole thing as x e to the x all squared. But then what that means is what we have right here is the same thing we have right here. And so it makes me think a u substitution is gonna work. So now that I have this rewritten in this form using this right here, let's go ahead with this substitution. So I'm just gonna make my u equal to x e to the x. I'll take a derivative. Derivative of this is gonna be exactly our numerator here. So this is gonna be e to the x plus x e to the x dx. So we go ahead and substitute. First, when we evaluate infinity, you plug infinity in there, this is still gonna be infinity. And then for one, you plug one in, the lower bound's just gonna become e. The whole numerator is gonna be our du, so we'll just write that down. And this whole thing's gonna just transform to u squared minus one. And for this integral, we could use a formula, but let's just do the partial fractions out really quick. Okay, so I have my denominator factored over here to the right. And then for partial fractions, we just want these constant values. We wanna find our a and b. And what I could do for this is use the cover-up method really quick. So first I wanna know here what's gonna make this zero. Well, we can plug minus one here and cover this up. You plug the minus one in here, you get minus two. One over minus two, I can have minus one half for my a value. And then doing the same thing here on u minus one, what's gonna make that zero? That's just gonna be one. Cover that up and plug the one in here. This becomes a two, so this whole value, so this whole fraction is gonna be just one half. So now from here, we can just take what we found here and put it back into the integral. So let's just make a little space. But what I want to do actually with the minus sign, let's just reorder this. And we have a half on both, so I can factor a half up front. So for the first integral, what's going to happen? This is going from e to infinity. We'll use this one. We factor the half up front, so now we just have 1 du in the numerator, and this is going to become u minus 1. And then for the second one, now I'll factor this minus 1 half up front. We still have the same bounds, and this is just going to become 1 du over u plus 1. But now we have two straightforward integrals. I'm just going to factor 1 half out in front of everything now. And then here for this first one, this is gonna become natural log absolute value u minus one. And then for the second one, we're gonna have minus natural log absolute value u plus one. And this whole thing is gonna be evaluated from e to infinity. But one thing I can do with log properties is actually put these together and make this a division. So of our one half in front, I'll write this as natural log absolute value u minus one over u plus one. And then we just need to evaluate. So first evaluating this at infinity, what's gonna happen is the minus one and plus one is not gonna really change it because what's going on here, if we looked at it as a limit, the whole thing's going to one. So what we're gonna have here is natural log of one, but that piece is gonna be just zero. And then next we're evaluating at e. So what we're gonna end up with is just e minus one over e plus one. But then let's just remove absolute value because with e being like 2.7 something, it's always gonna be positive. So let's just get rid of that. And then what I can do to clean this up with the minus sign, I can bring that in the exponent and just use to flip it. So what I can do then is write the reciprocal. I'll write it as e plus one over e minus one. But we have this one half in front. I'll take that into the exponent too, and I can write this as just a half power or a square root over everything. And so for my final solution, we just get natural log square root of e plus one over e minus one, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.